This is a day in the life of a Japanese language student from Sweden in Tokyo during a state of emergency. This is me. I am a 27 year old sad little creature from Sweden and I study Japanese full time at a language school here in Tokyo. This is strange doing voice over for myself just doing normal things. <laughs> it feels kind of like a nature documentary. Look at him go, you know, making breakfast. I also now notice that, good lord, my ass does not look very appetizing in these pants. Oh well, it's the uh, inside that matters. It's what's inside the pants that matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good morning. In the morning, as you can see, I clearly have no say in regarding my hair. Uh, Hello. But yeah, today is a normal Friday. I'm gonna do what I usually do. I don't really have anything special planned yet. So we'll see if anything happens tonight. Anything fun. As fun as you can have on a Friday night during these times. So the first thing I do is have breakfast. Today it's peanut butter, EA, and a fucking banana. I use the peanut butter to lubricate the banana and then I shove it up my ass. It's not a glamorous one, but fuck it, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything in this video. <laughs> and I eat it while usually watching something on the internet. I watch a lot of BBC, because there's no party without me, you know? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do now, because I'm hungry, and then see you after breakfast, I guess. So as you can see, the day is off to a thrilling start, and it will only get more and more exciting. Normally I have classes in school, but during the state of emergency my school has decided to hold online lessons instead. But those are not until the afternoon, so the morning is when I get try to get most of my shits in line, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna work. Fuck yeah. So I am a freelance translator, and I have been since 2017, I think. Right now I work on uh, Facebook. So if uh, any one of you Swedes out there think that Swedish Facebook is terribly poorly written, that is because of me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It does kind of sound exciting, doesn't it? But is it fun? <laughs> it's terribly boring. Do you need a part-time job as a language student? Having the uh, extra income is very handy because it's kind of expensive. Some of my friends have part-time jobs. Well, they did before this whole thing started. And I've noticed that their fluency has gone up quite quickly. Mm. Which I obviously don't get just translating English into Swedish. <laughs> but I think unless you are incredibly rich or you have incredibly rich parents, <laughs> studying at at least my language school in Tokyo, having a part-time job while doing so is very useful. Yeah, sexy commentary. <laughs> then don't you want another baito as well to sort of improve your Japanese? I've been thinking about it, but being able to work from home uh, as much as I want, whenever I want, is too um, juicy to give up, I feel. At least right now. Are you pretending to hear me ask these questions? Yes. That's right. You're basically just ripping off Paolo in Tokyo, right? Well, I mean, you're the one even using the fucking bubbles, you know, it's a bit on the nose, don't you think? Hmm. Oh, shush. Plagiarism is the highest form of ass licking. Mm. <clears throat> so what are you working on right now? Right now I'm working on some UI projects. Fun stuff. It's an extension of a previous project I worked on as well, but they forgot to add a couple of strings. See? This is how thrilling this is. Okay, now I'm going to go for a run because sekushi ni naritai. I usually go for embarrassingly short runs, making sure to stay away from others as much as possible, which isn't very difficult because most people, when they see this blonde flapping thing coming, run inside and hide their daughters, you know. After the run, I obviously take a shower, not featured in this video, sadly. If you become a Patreon, however, <laughs> you get uh, unlimited access to my uh, shower streams, you know. So for the rest of the day now, up until my lessons, I am just going to study. And right now in level three, we're doing presentations. I have chosen to make mine about the history of Tokyo. <laughs> I apologize to everyone in Tokyo, because I will most surely butcher that topic completely. I'm going to talk way more specifically about my school and everything when I make my dedicated video for that. But I have four hours of lessons every day and a bunch of homework, especially now in level three. I really need to catch up on my kanji as well. So that's probably what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to be a good student. Hmm. The study pace is kind of high in my school, I feel. After these three terms were supposed to be done with the basics of Japanese, I still feel like a very awkward, unintelligent and boring 
five-year-old when I speak, and that's when I speak Swedish or English, you know, so you can imagine how terrible my Japanese is. But we have come qu quite far in these last seven-ish months. We cannot speak enough Japanese in order to ask Japanese people if they can swap over to English instead. <laughs> okay, Lordy, it's lunchtime, everyone. Nothing spectacular going on, just uh, leftovers from yesterday. It's vegan, which I, I try to be vegan as much as I can when I'm at home, at least. It's very difficult when you go out to eat in this country to be vegan. But that's another video that I'm also thinking of making. Yeah. Do you do this as well? Like every meal, basically, you watch either YouTube or Netflix or something? Anyway, I'm gonna watch... Uh, One Piece. I watch it in Japanese with Japanese subtitles because I'm stuck using Japanese Netflix so I can't actually, I can't even have English subtitles. Although, ooh, speaking of this, a little plug. There's a language learning channel called Live Love Lang. Love Live Lang. Live Love Lang, I think. <laughs> they have tips for people who want to learn different languages and stuff. And uh, one of them is an app you can download that goes sort of over Netflix which allows you to use different subtitles on different languages so you can have like English and Japanese subtitles subtitles on at the same time if you want to. I haven't done that yet, <laughs> but I think it's a pretty good idea. Also, it's just a very good channel if you want to learn, if you want to get hits on how to how to learn different languages and stuff. Mm. I'm not gonna film myself eating too much because that's not very interesting, I don't think. And then it's almost totally shit, it's almost time for the lesson, everyone. How exciting. Mm. Okay, so here we go. Uh, wish me luck, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so we have a 10 minute break now in the lesson. That's the setup. Like we have 50 minutes of lesson and then we have uh, 10 minutes of break and then that times four. Oh yeah, and I just realized like there are the online lessons up on YouTube as well. So if you want to get a taste of what my lessons are actually like, you can just watch it. Back to studies. Mm -hmm. And now it's Friday, yay. It's been Friday all day, but it's Friday after school, yay. So I'm gonna go treat myself to some shit and you're gonna come with me. Oh yeah, and my friends messaged me as well saying that there's gonna be a Zoom party <laughs> tonight. That's how you do it in these times of national emergency, I guess. But that's gonna be after dinner, so let's go get dinner. All right, I'll see you in the streets, people. That sounds weird. <laughs> so this is what Tokyo looks like in the height of a state of emergency. As I mentioned before, the restrictions here were never as strict as in other countries. I went to my local Koko Ichiban curry. It's a chain of curry places and you can find them all over Tokyo. And got myself some vegetable curry, fuck yeah. Since my friends had announced a Zoom party, I also went and bought some naughtiness at my local supermarket. Look at this act of rebellion, by the way. Okay, so this is in many ways the best time of the day because done with studies and I get to eat curry. Yay. I eat cocoa curry way too much. I'm going to shit like a fucking steam engine with friends on Zoom. Ah, I'm probably gonna watch a bit more of One Piece while I eat. Uh, uh. <laughs> also, before I eat, I should say I absolutely fucking love my school. Even when we have these online lessons, you know, the teachers are still amazing. I've had uh, different teachers every term and this is the third term. So I've had maybe like seven teachers at this point or something. And they've all been really, really fucking good. Maybe that's just the, you know, teachers in Japan in general. <laughs> They're just incredibly good at what they do. Or it's this school that I happen to pick that just happens to have really good teachers. They make the best of a kind of shitty situation. But yeah, I'll see you a bit later. Hmm? And then the debauchery begins. This is my uh, drinking ritual, by the way, having a strong zero, playing along to Motown songs. <laughs> Fuck, it's so good. And then I spent the rest of the evening talking to friends on Zoom, yay. These are the people I pay, you know, not just to hang out with me, but also to create hundreds of YouTube accounts and subscribe to my channel. Some, as you can see, take their fandom very seriously. Guys, I have this strange man at my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, call the police. <laughs> he looks like a pervert. Yeah, he does look like a pervert. Get rid of him quickly, Jesus. I don't know, he looks like a sexy pervert and I love it. They have almost created a thousand at this point. So, uh, you know, these people are truly dedicated. I mean, I'm impressed, you know. 
Okay, so I did film an outro for this during the day, but it was way too intimate. <laughs> I brought you into my bed with me, and I feel that, you know, you and me, we are close, but not not that close. But yeah, this is what my life is generally like these days. I am having a lovely time right now, and I can recommend to anyone who's interested in studying in Japan, if you are able to, and if you can afford it, then please do. Even during a, if you have to go during a state of emergency, it's not ideal. I mean, if you can, if you could choose, I'd go for the uh, none state of emergency option, you know. Um, mm. Now, if you want to see, okay, <laughs> if you do want to see more videos about my everyday life here in Japan, my dear friend Chris from Poland also has a YouTube channel and he makes more vloggy type of videos. He's a fellow student at my school, we were in the same class together, and uh, he's only 12 years old, which is very impressive, you know, living alone in Tokyo. Recently, we went to Yoyogi Park together and he made a vlog about it, so please do go check that out if you're interested in seeing more lovely content from Tokyo, yeah, and say hi from me. Is, but I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yay! Which will hopefully be up way quicker than this one. Holy shit. I wanted to upload this like two weeks ago, but then shit happened. But yeah, thanks for all the support, by the way. I love all the comments that I received. You're all so fucking funny. Yeah, and we're approaching a thousand subscribers, so that's fun. Should I do something for that? I don't know. But okay, that's it. I need to I need to I need to go and get feedback for my latest test right now. <laughs> see how that goes. Okay, bye. <laughs>